Hello everybody, my name is Supersplat and welcome to another different kind of video. Um, so, as I'm uh, working on uh, Infinite Warfare videos, I thought it would be kind of a cool opportunity to, I don't know, showcase my gaming library. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to put it. I guess I could say as of, what is it, April? May? May? Uh, <laughs> Uh, like maybe spring of 19, like if I ever do updated videos, which I, at this point, if I'm doing this, I probably will do updated videos, but, um, yeah, so I figure I'm gonna split them all up instead of doing, like, say all my Nintendo games or all my PlayStation games, PC, so on and so forth, I'm gonna split them across different platforms. So today's video is gonna be PlayStation 1, uh, which is my... My first console I, is the PlayStation 1. Um, I Like now, I wish I still had it from the original PlayStation 1, but I don't. I just have my 2, and that's perfectly fine with me. Let's see, what am I grabbing that's... Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, first game on this showcase would be... Spiral, Year of the Dragon, if it will take focus off me. Year of the Dragon, the Collector's Edition. I got it at a used game store for seven dollars. Uh, no idea what what year this could have been that I bought it. After 2000, at some point. I mean, when this came out, I was I was 94. I can't do math. I was six when this came out. I was six. I was probably. Mm, it might have been 2002, I would say. If it was a collector's edition, too. It's got like the... Well, no, they all they all kind of do, actually. All the PlayStation 1. Oh, that's why it's so... <laughs> Maybe I'll get to this one last. So, yeah, my first PlayStation 1... Not the first, but one of the first PlayStation 1 games is Spyro. Then we'll move on to... Yeah, we'll just do these ones. Um, so then the next next game would be one that I showed in my retro haul video, which you can watch. I think it's going to be here and here. I can never remember. It's going to be WCW versus the World. Um, I did play this since I recorded that um, retro haul video. Mmm, it's a thing for sure. Um, it's hard. Sorry, the sun just decided to come out left field. Uh, <laughs> but, um, because, like, the, uh, the old wrestling games, wow, that's, let's see if I can do something about, oh, yes, I can do something about that. Okay. Um, yeah, it's New York. It's sunny. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, um, the old wrestling games, like, like this from 97, <laughs> um, they played more like arcade games than now wrestling games, obviously. They kind of felt like, they, they played like arcade where it's, or fighters, that's what I mean, fighter games, so you have to put in combos and stuff like that, um. Yeah, it's real far-fetched from what wrestling games are now. Or even then, like... Like, Fire Pro Wrestling. I have one for the PlayStation 2. But, like... I don't even know. I never played a Fire Pro game. I uh, I should. Um, at this point. And then, next one... Which is a game since I, I bought since I became a little bit retro gamer. Rainbow Six. Never played it yet. <laughs> um, I'm hearing noises because our neighbors are doing something, uh, putting a roof on or something. Um, yeah, Rainbow Six. I figured it's the original one, so I figured I'd pick it up, buy it, and I did. I haven't touched it yet, but I ought to, <laughs> as long as I own it. Um, Next one would be. I have a lot. Well, 
too late. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. For some reason I thought it was, um, Legacy of the Duelist. I think that was a game on Game Boy, if I'm not mistaken. Um... Wait, why is... Oh. I was gonna say, why is there two... Yeah, I don't get this. Um... It's one of those thick boys. If it's gonna... So, no, okay. It's one of the really thick cases, so it's like, maybe like, here's this one, and then the other side would be disc two, ideally. I have no idea what was in here. Um, if I did, it would be a, it would have been a long time ago. No, I don't know what it was, because it only says there's one disc. So I don't know what the back could have been. There goes the sun. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. Um, this is obviously not your typical Yu-Gi-Oh game. It is, um, from what I remember, it is a... Compared to the rules now, it is so different and basically archaic. Um, pardon the pun because it's Egyptian stuff. Um, but it, it's so, it's so different. <laughs> um, I saw a friend of mine do a live stream of it on YouTube, Chris Contagious, shout out to Chris. Um, and I'm just like, dude. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> I only got to so far in this game. I think it's like, from what I remember, you start off like way back in the days, like maybe like Egyptian days, the story mode. And then, you somehow get flash forward into maybe the timeline of the anime or something. I'm not sure. Um, and there's like a whole tournament that's going on. And just, I could not, I think whoever it is, that's the bug. He's got like a, like a, like a teal bowl cut. I don't know his name. I'm sorry to any Yu-Gi-Oh fans out there, but um, him in this game, I can never beat him. He was so difficult. Um, yeah. Next one is, well, these last two are from my childhood. And that would be one, Sheep, Dog, and Raider. Or Sheep Raider. Um, it's a Looney Tune game. Let's see if, uh, there's the cover disc art. It's pretty cool. I have no idea. Like, this is basically just like a big puzzle game. You gotta steal sheep from Sam Sheepdog. Oh, yeah, I remember just putting in hours. Sorry for the glare. I just remember putting in hours into this game. Um, I'm glad I still have it, because it is one of my first PlayStation games. Yeah, and at one point or another, I got stuck on here, and I basically just quit playing. And the last and final one, and I'm, I, I mentioned it a little earlier, I'm just like, what is this? And it's because it's all cheap, cheap codes, cheap codes? It's all cheap codes that <laughs> I printed out. Um, wow. Remember when cheat codes were a thing, guys? Oh my god, and gals, sorry. But this last game, Twisted Metal 4. Again, being, I don't know, seven or eight at least, this was my childhood, was Twisted Metal 4. I remember playing this game with a, with a couple friends of mine back in the day, and one of my friends, he had like all four Twisted Metal games, and then... I don't know where he lived before I met him, but then apparently his house was robbed and they took like all of the PlayStation games or whatever. Um, I don't even know where I bought this, Twisted Metal 4, but I did. My mom did, probably. Um, yeah. God, so many, so many memories. And the soundtrack, the soundtrack of this game is just absolutely killer. No pun intended. Um, 
the one that sticks out to me, and it's like always the first stage of. I, w I was gonna say, um, the story mode, if there even is such a thing. I have no idea. Um, is uh, Rob Zombie's Dragula on the first stage? Um, I guess it's story mode, yeah, why not? Sweet Tooth's Journey, whatever. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's just so iconic to me. I think this whole. This whole game is just iconic in my childhood, ever, forever ingrained in my childhood. I always think it fondly. Yep. Is this a, like, the game? I mean, I'm sure a lot of games do it, but this is like one of the more games, in my opinion, that always use the up, up, down, down cheat code kind of stuff like that. Man. So crazy. But that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I I enjoyed going down memory lane for Spyro Twisted Metal. And honestly, like I had some other games I can't remember off the top of my head besides like, I probably had like a Bugs Life game and some other really obscure titles I don't remember. But since I started to be going retro, these were the only games I bought um, since I went retro. And Spyro Twisted Metal, Looney Tunes, Yu-Gi-Oh, they're the only ones that I saved out of my whole PlayStation 1 library, and I'm glad I still have them, because I'm pretty sure, if not, because I'm pretty sure now, I mean, I don't know for sure, one of these two, Spyro and Twisted Metal, they gotta be worth something now, if not, definitely Spyro, I would think, but it is what it is, so... Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like on it. And you want to see more videos like this, again, drop a like. And uh, make sure to subscribe for future content. Otherwise, thank you everybody so much for watching. I'll get you guys next time.